Kaplan. Daniel Barron is a senior writer for LA's Jewish Journal. Uh, Daniel, thank you for joining us tonight. I need to tell our viewers that you grew up and you went to school with Stephen back in Miami. And when you first realized that the man in the video uh, was your childhood friend, what, when did you realize that? It was a couple of weeks ago when I saw the video in which James Foley was beheaded and I was instantly horrified. Stephen was my hero. He was traveling to the most dangerous, troubled places on the planet so that he could report backstories of human suffering. He was someone who could not ignore pain and injustice. He felt responsible and he had to respond. So, you, you know, you shared your first grade class photo from uh, your temple, and I want to show it here. You tell us that Stephen Sotloff, uh, there he's in the top second row uh, from the right, and you're on the lower right. You hadn't seen him in mm -hmm. 15 years, but he actually reached out to you in 2010 to reconnect, right? Yeah, he did. Um, I think we had a kinship because he knew I was writing and he was writing and we were both journalists, although I certainly would not put myself in the same category as him. Um, but he did reach out to me and he would send me lovely notes and he would send me articles that he was writing and send them from wherever in the world he was. He would always let me know when he was going into the Middle East and I know that was a passion of his. I mean, he really felt a responsibility to go there and tell stories of human degradation and pain. And Danielle, you know, we're playing only a small portion of the hideous video that was released in part to show Stephen's stoicism at the hands of this barbaric act. And I know that you say that it was a trademark of his personality to not cower from danger. No, I mean, what I remember of him, and for some reason, he was one of those, he was one of those kids who just made an impression on you. I have such a powerful memory of him, even from such a young age. He was goofy and playful and fun and just so full of light and joy. And um, he was an incredible, beautiful soul and spirit. Have you, have you spoken to the family tonight? And if so, or, or lately, how are they doing? Do you know? I have not spoken to the family. Um, they have asked that people respect their privacy. Uh, I can only imagine the horrific amount of grief that they're feeling at this moment. But I have been in touch with friends um, mm -hmm. from home and certainly people from um, the synagogue that Stephen and I both belong to. And it's just the whole community is grieving. It's a terrible tragedy. And I think anyone, you know, who cares about freedom of expression and human life should be appalled and saddened by this really horrific act. Yeah.